Hey everyone, it's been a little while since I posted something on the channel, um, but finally I'm back. And here we have a model called the Ducktail, and it's made by a local Thai, and his Instagram handle is Naf Custom. So um, I'm just gonna open it quickly and talk you through the knife. As you can see, it's actually very reminiscent of the Emerson um, CQC6, and I believe, so I, I'm not too familiar on the history, but I believe that NAF historically has modified a lot of Emersons, um, so much so that he got banned in the Emerson Facebook group. <laughs> for for doing all this custom work but essentially he was doing everything that was quite fancy putting on mokutai scales bolsters damascus blades etc so people who really wanted something that was you know the emerson design but more refined would always come to naf um, and he was really good at that um, and more recently, in the past few years, he started making his own knife, his own models, instead of doing modifications. So this is one of them, and this is the ducktail. I think the design is quite very similar to the CQC6, except that the back is sloping down instead of sloping out. Um, but the funny thing is, having handled and talked to Emerson collectors, they agree that the quality and the craftsmanship of this is much better than even an Emerson custom knife. <laughs> so it's quite funny because he got banned um, and he really loves Emerson designs and I think that you know it's, it's a little bit of a shame that Emerson himself, the customs quality hasn't known, been known to be the best. You know, I've talked to many collectors who love Emerson's. They love the design, and that's the main reason they got one. They love the ergonomics. Um, but <laughs> the quality is not great. Um, but if you do want something that is reminiscent of Emerson designs, like a CQC6, but want really top-notch quality, you should try one of this, one of these knives. To be honest, in the beginning, I wasn't expecting much at all, um, but I wanted to support him as a local Thai maker. And actually, I'm extremely impressed. So let's start with the blade. This is a um, Tanto grind, but oh yes. The grind is a chisel grind on this one. I requested a chisel grind because I haven't had a knife in a chisel grind in a really long time. But I remember the last one I had was a custom Jason Stout Leviathan. And that one was one of the sharpest knives I've ever had. So I needed to try another one. And boy. You know, I think a lot of people don't like the chisel grind because it is not symmetrical on either side, especially this side. But I do I do think, you know, in the beginning I also had the same feeling, but as I've been in the knife game for a little while, I've grown to appreciate it more. And boy, does it cut like crazy. This thing is really, really sharp. And even with a thicker blade stock, it slices extremely well. Um, and this one is in Magna Cut blade steel, so I specifically ordered it um, for this knife. And it performs extraordinarily well. Next, let's go to the scales. I really wanted to go for that classic look. Um, so there's the bead blasted um, bolster. I'm not sure what he used to blast this. I carried it quite a bit, um, but it remains 
quite clean not any scratches that you can see really um, so it's a beautiful you know user finish but you can't see any scratches on it and let's check out the green micarta scale <laughs> beautifully um, polished it's not too polished that it's slippery so it's very much a user user knife the jimping here is not overly aggressive and the lockup very nice and solid very smooth and also um, if you've handled Emerson Customs you'd know that the D10 is quite weak but this one you can't really shake it open it's got a really nice detent and you can flick it open very well you can also and it you know you can also open it slowly which is very nice the um, the original knife that I got from NAF came with a more triangular shape like an armor shield design um, thumb disc but it was a bit flush against the scale so it was actually quite difficult to open so I requested him to make it a thumb disc instead or something that it can reach more easily so that's how I got this um, accessible by both sides both left and right hand um, so very very well done another detail that you can see here is that this is the um, dovetailed so if you don't know dovetailing is actually quite difficult to do as well because you have to cut the scale in an angle so in order to do that and make it fit perfectly flush against the scale is quite an achievement as well in its own on both sides by the way and it's perfectly flush very very well done the pocket clip quite big um, but works extremely well so faithful to the design I think it fits in extremely well and yeah I mean I think to be honest this should be <laughs> every knife <night> that <laughs> Emerson should have produced on his own you know this kind of quality um, and fit and finish but here we are a Thai knife maker making the similar design and at the level of the you know top makers which really 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 positively surprised by and I'm highly impressed by this piece um, I highly recommend you check one out and go check out his Instagram and see if you can get on his books um, because he does have open books last time I checked so if you're looking for something new beautiful design great handle ergonomics it's actually quite thick um, if I'm not wrong it's similar to the Emerson maybe a slightly thicker but quite similar it's very beefy um, the action is quite addicting and of course you know you can request a regular grind non chisel to be even on both sides but I mean if you want really good cutting performance I suggest you try a chisel grind you know have at least one in your collection and you'll be very very happy with it so yeah that's about it um, thank you very much for watching see you next time